how to add hover effect in Google Sites. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can add hover effects in Google Sites. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Google Sites, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Google Sites, it is a user-friendly website creation tool that allows individuals and teams to build and share websites without requiring technical or coding skills. With its drag and drop interface and customizable templates, users can design professional looking sites for various purposes such as project management, team collaboration, portfolios, or small business showcases. So from here it will show you a variety of template to choose from. But in those option, I'm going to choose for example this photo portfolio. And by simply clicking on it, you will automatically be directed on this page where you can start customizing some of the picture in here and portfolio or images that it contain. However, to add a hover effects, it will show you on the right side panel that there is no option to add the hover effects on any of these media files. But there are also still other ways on how we can start adding a hover effect in here using some other website, which is for example this commonninja.com, in which it is a versatile no-code platform that offers a wide range of customizable widgets and tools to enhance website functionality and user engagement. It is designed for individuals and businesses looking to add interactive features, improve site aesthetics, and boost conversions without requiring technical expertise. So from here, just simply log in your account. And after logging in, you could also log in or sign in using your Google Webflow or GitHub or filling out the sign up button. Now after filling out or signing in, you will now be directed on this dashboard and it will show you on the left side panel some of the options to navigate whether start adding or creating a widget which is a hover effects, kind of click create widget button right here to proceed in which by clicking this button right here it will show you on this pop-up window the widget catalog and all you need to do is simply search on a search bar in here the hover effects so kind of click this one and enter hover effects and it will show you in here this image hover effects option so kind of click on it to do it and upon clicking on it you will automatically be directed on this page where you can start customizing some of the option and on the left side panel we have here the editing tools that can help us to change the title in here for example this main title which is my images i'm going to enter here or customize this title into my work in here and after that below here you'd also start navigating or customize this image caption and even to change the images in here but for instance under this caption i'm going to enter here instead of this into the beauty of it and also from here below the description you could also start customizing this one at this point, I'm going to enter here, art is subjective. Then we can now proceed by navigating the image in here if you want to upload by clicking this one. You can simply click upload file or you could also add from URL or Unsplash. However, you must have an upgrade account in order to navigate or use this kind of feature in here. Now below, if you scroll down, you could also navigate here to add a link wherein you can start adding here the link of your social media account or some of the pages on your website. On your google site in here and another here this image caption since this template is consists of three images in here so all we need to do is simply do the same process of customizing the caption and description but moving on to this design section we can start choosing here different kind of effects of hover we have here this one or we can choose the advanced in here and customize the font type the loading animation in here depending on your preferences the effect background, read, item size, gap, and many more. So basically, this is what it looks like. And also under content, you could also start customizing the title color, title size, caption color, caption size, description, and many more. Now under this custom, you could also custom the style, the main container, title, images, card, and many more. Well, under the settings section, from here you can add or turn on some of these attributes to show a main title and many more. And let's say you're now done customizing your hover images in here with the hover effects like this one just click the save changes on the top right corner to save it or the publish button in here in which by clicking the save widget you'll automatically be directed on the page where it will show you that you have now successfully saved the widget so kind of click this copy code to proceed 
and upon copying this one, the next thing that we need to do is to simply go back to our Google Sites in here and to add the hover effects, kind of click the insert button on the right side panel and click this embed section and click embed code and simply paste here the code then click the next button and upon doing so, just click the insert button once again then you will now be able to see the result of the images with the hover effects on it so you can start resizing this one if you want to and change the location of it in here but to see what it looks like you can click the publish button on the top right corner to see the preview of it and after successfully publishing it the next thing that we need to do is to simply view it by clicking the view button right here in which this is basically what it looks like so if you scroll down in here you'll be able to see the images with the hover effects on it that we just customized earlier so if we try to click on it the effects is now showing off so overall that is just basically how you can add a hover effect in google sites thank you